adding 3-axis toolpath capability to your existing 1CNC CAD CAM is very simple by upgrading to 1CNC Mill Advantage. Now it's very important to note that Mill Advantage isn't the highest level of 3-axis CAD CAM provided by 1CNC, but rather it's a great way to get started with 3-axis. If you'd like more advanced features, there's always 1CNC Mill Professional and the ultimate 3-axis software, which would be 1CNC Mill Expert. 1CNC Mill Advantage is exactly the same as Mill Express in that it provides the same 2.5 axis toolpath, but it also provides some very basic and useful 3 axis toolpath as well. So let me demonstrate. I'm first going to load a SolidWorks file here. And let's load this one first. Just click OK to use the default and click Finish. And there we go, there's our file. Let's apply some toolpath to this. We're going to head over to the CAM portion of 1CNC. We're going to go into our three axis mill toolpaths. There's roughing and finishing. Let's go with Z level rough. And for this, I'm going to rough the part using a 5 8 diameter in mill. My speeds and feeds look fine. I'm going to click next on this. My clearance values look great. And notice how 1CNC uses the part model inside the dialog box here. And by the way, these different levels, these are all uh, represented by these grids. And it's dynamic. So if I type in something like 1 inch, you'll see that red grid hop up there. That's very nice. It's a very nice way to make sure all your clearance values are good. All right, we're going to use traditional. I'm going to ramp in for each depth of cut at 3 degrees. We're going to climb cut and spiral inwards. And again, this is just a roughing operation. I'm taking 150 thousandths per pass, and I'm going to leave 20 thousandths on the part. We'll click Next. Uh, find flat areas. We really don't need it for this part. I'm going to click None on that. We'll click Next. I'll talk about flat areas uh, in, just a, in just a second. We'll use Extents. This is just a boundary to help contain the toolpath. I'm going to restrict that just a little bit to 100 thousandths and click Finish. And there we go. There's the rough toolpath. Now let's take a look at a finish operation called Planar Finish. That's where we're going to be taking lots of parallel passes. So Planar Finish is what we want. For the Planar Finish, I'm going to be using a half inch diameter end mill. This all looks great. Turret position number two. Again, our clearances look very good. Next. Our toolpath angle 90 degrees is fine. We're going to climb cut. Notice for step over, you can use different strategies like constant step over, maximum, or scallop height. I'm just going to use a constant step over of 50 thousandths and click next on that. Extents box, this all looks good. This looks great. We'll click finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Very good. Now, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's simulate the toolpath. This is where we can watch stock being removed. I don't have any stock created, but I can easily come over here to our model tools and use this option called extract surface edges and just quickly left click and what that does is that creates wireframe geometry on these edges here and I, I can use that geometry for our stock so we're gonna just right click and we're gonna simulate and pick a boundary I wanna pick that shape I just created it's gonna left click that and here we go so here's our roughing operation lower left hand corner this is your speed control you can slow the simulation down if you move it to the left, if you move it to the right, you can speed it up. Each depth of cut is ramping in at 3 degrees. So this is called Z-level rough. And then here's the finish operation. This is a planar finish. Each toolpath is parallel to each other. And you can zigzag back and forth. You could make it conventional or climb cut. I just decided that I wanted to climb cut on this. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'm using random colors for the toolpath and on the timeline each different color represents a different tool. So the blue would be roughing and the kind of a magenta color here is going to be our finish operation. Okay, so there's one example using one CNC mill advantage. Now I want to show you a different type of finishing operation. So let's load up another SolidWorks file and make sure down here we have SLDPRT selected. This time we'll use the Surf 2 example. Click Finish. And by the way, the latest version of 1CNC will load the latest version of SolidWorks. Very easy. All right, so let's rough this out using the exact same toolpath we used before, which was Z-Level Rough. I'm not going to change any of the parameters here. I'm going to leave all these exactly the same. I'll just quickly push through here. Yeah, I'm going to use, oh, one thing I will change is I'm going to say find flat areas. That's going to make sure that no matter what depth of cut I use, one CNC is going to machine the flat areas. So that's something that's important. Find flat areas. We'll click next on that. Extents box. All this looks very good. Let's click finish and let one CNC generate the toolpath. 
Very good. Now let's take a look at a different type of finishing operation. Let's use Z-level finish. This is going to be waterline machining. It's going to finish the part at different Z-levels. All right, and that's a really a widely used finishing operation for three-axis work. Again, I'm going to use a half-inch diameter ball end mill. Speeds and feeds look good. Clearance values look great. Again, you can see the actual part model inside the dialog box there, which is really nice. Click Next. I'm going to use a radial approach. I'm going to arc in and arc off. I'm going to use 100 thousandths for that. I also am going to use one CNC's preferred toolpath of as arcs. This is arc optimization. This is going to reduce the amount of CNC code and provide the best finish possible. So that's a great tool provided by one CNC. We're going to climb cut. I'm going to use maximum step over for this. 50 thousandths is fine. And again, we'll use flat areas. And yeah, this looks great. Let's, let's click finish on that and let one CNC generate the toolpath. Now, just like before, let's simulate this by creating some stock real fast. We'll head over here to our model tools, extract surface edges. I'm just going to left click and that creates that wireframe geometry we can use for stock. Let's right hand mouse click and select simulate. We're going to be picking a boundary. That's the shape we just extracted. And I just left click, right hand mouse click. All right, so here we go. Here's the roughing operation. And for each depth of cut, we're ramping in at 3 degrees. Very nice. And because of the shape of the part, this Z-level finishing operation is really the best way to go for something like that. It's a very powerful and efficient way to machine the part. Okay? All right, that's it for this video. What we did is we took a look at some of the basic 3-axis milling toolpaths provided by 1CNC Mill Advantage. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.